what I discovered when I took the flywheel off was that the uh, <coughs> the key that goes in the uh, crankshaft had sheared off. And the entire flywheel had rotated out of timing sync. So I've gotten another key and I modified it because it wasn't quite the right size with the uh, grinder. Anyway, so that's going to change things substantially from the way they were. So we'll probably have to, well, for sure, this is going to have to be relocated probably to the stock location the way you check for top dead center on this is the side access cover or back access cover that's on the side now so that the pistons are at the full extent and then that's basically where top dead center is so I'm going to advance it a little bit I already have some other holes drilled and then we will Give it another shot. Okay, I think we've got the timing in the ballpark now. recharging the battery so the next project is to figure out how to uh, get the alternator charging properly right now they use a uh, diode for DC which is a half wave rectifier so you've got like pulsing DC uh, I'd rather have a full wave rectifier and then the uh, regulator I'm not sure if this is going to work. Um, this regulator is supposed to charge the battery and is probably good for 5 amps, which is what the alternator is supposed to put out. So we'll see. That's for next time.